Alrighty, so on the bench today, we got some fun stuff here. Now, I already opened up the bag, but I didn't open, or the box, but I didn't open up bags here. And these should be, if I'm not mistaken, one, two, three, four Sega CDXs. Believe it or not. Oh, yeah. So let me, uh, let me get these all out. Hopefully they're labeled. I don't I don't know if they are or not, but that's definitely a Sega CDX. Can you see that in there? So hopefully they're labeled like one, two, three, and four. I don't know if they are, but we'll figure it out here. Um, I think a lot of them, some of them are like extremely broken. Some of them are lightly broken. So we'll figure out what's going on here. And some extras I didn't even realize. Well, I did realize. I just didn't know they were in here. Uh, looks like we have, looks like he threw the cap kits in here. I don't know where he, oh, there we go, right there. There's the cap kits that he has for them. I mean, I'm not a big fan of changing caps unless they're absolutely required, but, okay, that's them. So, yeah, so some extra stuff here. Um, is this one being able to pull out? Let's see if they're labeled. They're not, but that's okay. That's okay. There we go there. That is one of them here. It's not in bad shape, but, uh, yeah, that's that. So, uh, yeah, I'll pull them all out, and uh, we'll start testing. Okay, so we got them all lined up here. One, two, three, and four. Uh, as I was looking through the window here, I can see that there is a post-it note in each one. So, if I open it up, sure enough, powers, plays, carts perfectly, disc doesn't spin. So, we've got uh, video only, because we don't need audio. So, let's just see if it powers up at all. Do we get the Sega CD BIOS? We do. Doesn't spin discs. So, I thought to myself, well, get ready for this because uh, let's just check the laser right off the bat. And let me see if I can hit the closed door switch. Whoops. Oh, it does say checking disc. Whoa, 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 whoa. Does that get stuck? Okay, I do see the laser moving, but I don't see it. I don't see the actual laser peer, like the actual laser. All I see is it's searching. Let's grab a disc. Uh, let me find a Sega CD disc. Give me two seconds here. grab final fight here get that in there uh ooh, are you seeing that uh yeah that ain't right right off the bat what is going on there you get just zoomed in light on what in the oh look at that well, that just scratched the shit out of my disc, didn't it? Sure did. What in the frig? What the fuck? Well, shit. Okay, let's well, back you out of here. That sucked. Let's try a cart real quick. So that's an issue for sure. We can throw that back in there. We don't need that. Let's power off. Let's throw a cart in. Oh, that ain't even right. Something that's goofy. Let's see what happens here. Okay, that booted no problem. Uh, let's. Oh well. Where's our arms here? I know what I'm going for. Let's see if Ghostbusters works. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we have no issues here, right? Nope, that looks good. So it is that. Okay. So we'll power that off. Yeah, that's definitely a problem. So now I'll stop it here. I'll move on to this one. And then we'll go down the line and see what happens. 
Okay, on to the next one. And this one says, Door lid hinge issue. Open button soft. And soft isn't the word, as in, oh, is it ever soft? It, okay, so if you push it down, it does pop up a little bit when you press it. I can see that it wants to lift it, but it doesn't, so it should open. Oh, it probably shouldn't open that much, I don't think. Oh, yep, yeah, okay, that's an issue. Yeah, and it doesn't want to close it back down, I see. Okay. Plays everything, but seem to take long on disc. A cross may stop. I wonder what that means. So first of all, let's just uh, let's just throw in the Chris. Let's turn it on. Make sure we got power. Game. Yep. That's not a good sign off the bat, is it? Okay. So we do have. Seems like it's working. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna load the first set up there so you can actually see what the frig is going on okay let's go to roms i'm just going to load the first one make sure everything is booting it is start start i don't see any like i'm just looking to see if like ram and everything's good who makes arrow iguana and is it a yeah it's a claim right Who else is enough? Somebody else does it too. Okay, that looks okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, so stop. Now we'll pull the cart. Oh, you know what I could do? You know what we could try? Just for shits and giggles sake. Let me power that back up. I don't know if this works on CDXs or not. But if we go to BIOS, we should be able to launch, say, the... Uh, this BIOS. Does it work on this? Oh, it does. <laughs> okay. So reset. That should pretend to open the tray, right? It does. Okay, that's neat. I didn't think that was. Uh, I didn't think that was an option, but it is. Okay, so let's throw Final Fight in here. Let's see how this sits. Ah, see that sits much better than the first one did. Ooh, look it. I'm going to have to hold that down. I have to hold it down. Otherwise, it'll stop spinning. Wait, let me see if I can get that open button to come up. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah, we're getting... that's That should have loaded already. That definitely should have loaded already. Yeah. Yep, that's not even trying. I mean, sorry. Sorry, it is trying. It's definitely trying. It just, it sounds like straight shit. Let's reset. Hang on. Let's just make sure that we're... There we go. So we'll push start. Oh, something's weird there. The way it started, it didn't seem like it was a nice smooth spin up. It was like... That was weird. Well, I'm going to say that it does not want to play everything. Where did the uh, where the note go? Play everything but seem to take a long long on disk. Oh, access. That's what not across. It's access. Access. Yeah. Oh, I can see. Okay. So we'll stop that because yeah, that's uh, that's an issue. I'm gonna say that does not load a game. I'm gonna say that does not play everything, not to any kind of satisfactory, anyways. So let me s stop this, and we'll move on to Jesus. We'll move on to the next one here. Okay, let me stop you, and I'll load up the other one. Okay, now this one's got. An elastic around it. So I'll just, uh. Ooh, this is soft too. This is. Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe that's why he's got the elastic on it. Let's see what this one said. Oh, shit. 
Ooh, right off the bat, I can see dead. Almost like walking dead. Don't open, dead inside. Dead. Maybe one he opened. Because somebody's already been in these. And uh, the repairs didn't go well. Obviously, I have them. So, let's... Uh, See what the hell we got going on here. So, dead is in, like, no power. Yep, he ain't lying. So we got a goofy-ass power cable here. Nah, she dead. That is actually pretty tight back there, so I don't think that's it. Well, I'm not even going to bother stopping this one. We'll just continue on with the next one. And put that back in there. That back in there. Take this off. We'll put the elastic back around it. We might start with this one. Because this one seems to be rough, rough. So we might start with that one. Put that one off to the side. And let's move on to number four here. What does this one say before we get it hooked up? What does this one say? Power doesn't always work. It may after plugging in and trying again. When it does, video goes black, but no CD or cart. Ooh, we got another rough one here, eh? Okay. First of all, I'm just going to plug power in. Oh, well, uh, hello. Right off the bat, you guys are probably not going to be able to see that. But that should almost be an indication that you can't see it. That should be silver, not gray like that. Did we, not we, but did somebody leave batteries in here and, oh, of course. Yep, that's a good indication right off the bat, isn't it? Look at that, right off the bat. Right off the bat, I can bet that is just, oh yeah, I bet that is just corroded beyond belief in there. That's going to be a tough one too. Let's just see if we get anything out of it. See if it'll start at all. I almost don't even want to put my power cord into it, but no big deal. Turn that cam uh, light off. We'll just back you out here. We'll just focus on this for a second. Is that loose? Oh, that is a little loose. Power? Nope. We'll move this around a little bit. Oh, that is so fucking loose. Oh, oh, oh. Did you see it? come up for a second yeah we got an issue here with this one too oh yep so that's what it is look how delicate yep i gotta oh as soon as you move it okay let me get it hooked up here and i'll get it in uh i'll get it in line here so that we can actually test it okay this one might not be too too bad although it doesn't play anything so well, it might not play anything because the cart it's slot itself being so close to where the batteries are, it's probably corroded all in here too. Shit, I almost don't even want to put the multi-cart in it because I can almost guarantee that's the issue. Well, I'm power that off for a second. Um, I can always clean that. I can always take that apart and clean that. So let me power it on and let me see if I can get it to sit where there we go yeah it does whoops sorry it does recognize whoops jeez it does recognize that it's being turned on and it does give a video output otherwise it would just say you know no signal let's open it up here That's what it is. I can almost guarantee that's what it is. Fucking reset doesn't even work. What if I hold reset? Nope. Let me oops. Let me see if I can just Come on, baby. Give me something. Yeah, that's a no-go. Yep. Okay, so we are going to start with these two that are really, really bad, and then we can move on to the other ones that are somewhat functional. Yep. So I'm going to call this one right off the bat. This is going to be... 
this one's going to be corrosion damage for sure. Okay. Uh, let me just check that car. I just want to make sure I don't got shit in it. Yeah, okay, that looks good. Let's take a look together. Let me get in close here. Let me turn the flashlight on. Let me see if we can check. See if any of that shit is corroded in there. Oh, it don't look like it. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I do see corrosion down here on this screw. The cart slot, it doesn't look bad. I can, I don't see any, I don't see a ton of corrosion on the cart slot. But, I mean, if we've got corrosion and we've got any broken traces under here, I can almost guarantee that's what's happening. Holy shit. Even the metal started to corrode. That's what that is under there. That's, that's why that's rusted like that. Woo. Yeah, that's probably what's wrong with this one. This one might be a little tough to work on. This one might be worse than the other one. Um, okay, let me get organized here, and uh, we'll start. Well, this is the kind of stuff I don't like to see. I think he was in this one, too. Missing a screw. This one's not in all the way. You've seen with not that one, not that one, but the other one I put away. You've seen that the screw on the spindle... That one was raised. That sucks. Let's see if we can get a good look inside here together. Just through here to see. I can see some bullshit right now. Yeah. Okay. I think I think we'll start with this one. I think the other one that was uh, had a soft opening and closing. I think I think it was missing something here. So uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is shut that off. Bring this back. I think we're gonna start with this one. I'll start taking it apart, and uh, we'll just see just how bad this one actually is. Okay. So we've run into our first problem here. Now, sure, I got it apart, right? But this back screw right here, it's stripped. And I know why it's stripped is because whoever tried to get into this didn't realize that because it's so corroded, I can almost guarantee that that right there is corroded into the metal on here. So obviously it's not going to come loose. So I'm going to have to think here. I mean, this screw is going to get ruined. It already is. It already is. And I don't want to get it any, I don't want to be any worse than what it is. You can see how compared to one of the ones that I already pulled near the volume pot and the AV out, they're fine. But this one, uh-oh. And I mean, if you take a look at where, look at, you can see the corrosion here. This is just how bad it is. Somebody left batteries in here, right? <sighs> I might have no choice mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do here I don't know if I should like, I don't want to ruin the plastic around here and I don't want to ruin this because if I can get this out I don't care about this screw I can always find a replacement for this that, that's no big deal it's getting it out um, yeah let me think here so yep Pardon my language here, but I literally had to drill that fucker out, and I am not joking. I actually did a really good job, and I didn't really, I didn't scuff up the plastic damn near at all, but as you can see, oh, there's the head of it. Let me see if I can get that in view. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to, it's just so tiny, but there's the, there's the head, and there is the leftover left inside there and you can see why it wasn't going anywhere look at the state of this look at the corrosion going on here this is why this machine doesn't work and i'm glad we started on this one because he does realize that in order to get all these up and working uh there may need to be some cannibalism involved meaning some might need parts from others just to get as many up and running as possible which i commend him for you know even recognizing that before I had to say anything so big shout out to that 
You know, I like a customer that realizes, hey, listen, not everything is, you know, rose tinted, you know. Um, so, yeah, I mean, look at the state of that. Look at this. And this is definitely battery damage. 100%. That is absolutely 100% battery damage. Oh God, so those screws are gonna be fucked as well. That one doesn't seem too, too bad. I'll probably get that one out, but this one too. Oh geez. I mean, that doesn't seem too bad on this side. Do you think maybe a lot of it got caught up in this shielding and stopped it from Getting on the board, do you think? Do you hope? Mm, I do see some corroded vias here. Like that one there. Down in there. I wonder how far this traveled. Okay, let me uh, let me do some investigation here. Let me clean up everything so we don't have shrapnel hanging out all over the place. And then uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so i uh, remove the two solder points here. I just want a good look at see just how far down this went uh, I actually believe that that shielding may have actually saved this because I do not see any corrosion well at least on the bottom of this here yep let me see if I can get you in here there's still one little solder spot I missed here let me bring this one up here there we go yeah, I believe this may have just saved this. I don't know exactly. Oh, oh, yeah, but it is. Okay, hold on here. Let me get this bench out of the way so that doesn't... So I can film this here. This one may end up being a parts one, but we'll... We'll fucking find out here. Where does that even belong to? Oh, I'm going to pull the shielding right out. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so everything looks okay. I mean, besides this but this is what i was afraid of that it may have crept up into the cart slot but it hasn't which leads me to believe that if we're not even getting cart to work there may be some damage somewhere else now i do see that it may have crept its way up this way mm -mm 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 -mm. yeah that uh, uh oh let me see here how are we going to handle this? Man, it looks to me like it's even crept its way up this way. Like, that's a lot different than the other screws here. It may have crept its way up. Oh, this one's missing a... Is that missing a screw? Or is that... Oh, this one's stripped out too. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm 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 -mm. Man, I really don't want this to be a parts board. I'd rather, I'd like to get every single one of these up and running. I don't want to. I mean, you know me, guys. I like to at least try my heart out on everything. So let me get this fully apart, and then we're going to look some more here. I may, um, I'm going to need some, uh, some vinegar here, and I'm going to start getting into here and just... Man, there's going to be a lot of continuity to check and shit like that. Um, sheesh. That's going to need to be removed. These are going to need to be removed. I think these are grounds here. They probably all are grounds. I know you can't see what I'm pointing at here, but... I think we got ground. I bet you that's ground. I bet you these are ground up here. And let's just double check. Make sure, I, make sure I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's all they are. They're all common grounds, which makes sense. This looks like it's taken the worst of it. I wonder what this is. Beside, well, it's not power. Oh, I see some caps. Well, these are caps here. wonder what this is. Is this a battery connector right here? Well, it is. It's that part of it, but I wonder what the fuck that is. Like, just for example, do we still have continuity across this pin? We do. Wow, I'm actually fucking shocked here. 
that Game Boy one, that, that old Game Boy repair video I put up a little while ago. Um, ooh, that Via is ooh-wee. Um, I just put it up because it was a video, but I mean, it was, it was worse than this, and I got that up and running, so chances are I can this one too. I mean, again, it might be, end up being a parts unit, but I don't want it to be. Okay, let me dig into this some more, guys. Okay, so as far as I can figure out, what's holding this together is these two screws in the back. I'm going to tell you right now, this one's got me shit in my pants because this one is bad. So, that's not good. And I believe right here, let me move this out of the way. I believe right here, I can't tell how many pin it is. It doesn't say. I believe we have an interconnect that besides these screws and these grounds here, I think these big screws are just holding uh, they're just security for um, the controller slots, the controller ports. I believe it's just for rigidity's sake, because you know those are the ones, those are connectors that are always getting pushed in and out. I believe the only thing that's holding it on is these two screws, these grounds, and this inner connect. So uh, I'm actually going to start with this one. I don't know how well this is going to work. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be trouble come on baby nice and slow nice and slow oh yeah come on baby come on baby work with me nice okay so that one did come out thank goodness this one here this should come out no problem Yeah, that's going to come out no problem. Okay. That's going to come across no problem. Okay. That should alleviate this part of the board. And it does. Okay. Now, as for these grounds, just let me really quickly. Remove these grounds here. Okay. like I said, I, I can tell that those screws are only through the controller port. These big ones here. So these might not even need to be removed. Yeah, so I believe the only thing holding it together, yep, is probably this interconnect. Which it may need to be pried apart. I hate that. Because I don't want to put any undue stress onto this um, these two screws down here in the bottom I believe those have nothing to do with what is going on here and if I'm not mistaken if, if this is the way it's built this should come out this way so let me uh, put you on pause here and let me see if I can't lightly pry up on this Okay, so I was right. Those big screws are literally just to hold the controller ports together. So once you get up here and just pry, the whole thing comes off. Now there is another interconnect that holds the power board on. And I am scared to touch this right here because you can see where the corrosion has crept through the entire board all the way into the interconnect, uh, all the way into the power connector here. So I know those are gonna fall off as soon as I touch them. I know it. Um, the power board's probably okay, but this is just, this is toast. This is gonna need to be cleaned immediately. Okay, I think I found the issue. So yeah, I was, I was having a hard time finding where it worked its way into, but no, I found it. There it is right there. There's the damage. So what I'm gonna have to do is first I'll get this area all cleaned up. I'll get this all cleaned up. I'll see just how bad it is. And uh, we'll go from there. I'll clean this board up. 
as well. And I should be able to test this out of here because I don't care about the CD part of it right now. All I care about is getting the console up and running. As long as the cart works, then I know that the machine is operational. Okay, so I just did all that rework to the top of that uh, Sega chip and still nothing. Then the power supply and it went. So I had to pull another power supply from another machine. And it is for sure, it's the power, it's definitely the power supply because it does light up. So yes, the power supply also died, which is lovely. Okay, but we still don't get anything on screen here. Let me uh, just show you. Let me get that ground in there. And you'll see that it does want to, sorry, give me two seconds here. So I can get that stuffed in there. I don't know if that's enough or not. But you'll see that, yeah, it does, it does want to, it does want to boot. But it doesn't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to make sure that I can run this board, right, out of, like, without using the interconnect to go into the rest of it. I.e., the one that I took apart to pull this power supply from because this one's toast, right? I just want to see if that'll run without it. So give me two seconds here. Okay, so this is a known working board. This is the one I pulled the power supply out of. I just want to see if, when I power it up, like, do I get anything? So that I know that if I continue to work on this board, right, that I will be able to get anything. So let's just see here. Yes, okay, so it does recognize that there's no card in. Now, you're not going to get anything else because the rest of the Sega CD is hooked up. But that's, a, that's what I was looking for. With this board here, that's what I'm looking for. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about here. Oh, yeah, I think this one is going to end up being a parts machine, this one here. Uh, so that is working. So that's, that's a working board, and that's a working power supply. So we do know that, and we do know from the original tests. So let me keep this power supply away or out. This one is bad, so we'll put that one off to the side. This is a known working board. That's what we just seen. That's what I pulled out of a, at least a one that's booting up. Here's the board that I've been working on. It has the bad power supply. And let me show you what I've done so far. And still got nothing out of it. Believe it or not, I don't know if that's going to be too much light or not enough light, but... And I still get nothing out of it. So that makes me think, and I, let me see, I don't know if I can keep this in focus or not here, but there is nothing shorted, nothing touched. I triple checked, quadruple checked. Everything seems to be working. So that leads me to believe that there's probably pads or traces underneath this chip that are bad because I'm still getting nothing. Let me show you here. Let me get you put off to the side here. Let's get it hooked up with a working power supply. Uh, chances are I can get the other power supply to work. I, when I do voltage checks, I got I get voltage at. Um, let me back it way out here. I get voltage here, but anything after that is just toast. So let me get. Uh, and I can tell somebody's been in this one as well, but. I don't exactly know what the extent of the damage is yet on the other one there. I just had to pull out a working power supply because I knew after doing all that work, I'm like, I should at least get something. Why am I getting nothing now? But that power supply is just absolutely freaking toast. Let me get this hooked up here. And you'll see that, yeah, it does give me a signal. Like, there's a signal there. but nothing, absolutely nothing. So that does lead me to believe that there's still issues happening here because I should get, well, just like we did with that board, we should get Sega CD. And I'm, if I'm not mistaken, like if I pull that board, put that board back together and put Dune in, I'm sure that Dune will run because it recognizes that a cart's in, right? I'm getting nothing out of this absolutely freaking nothing sorry for this being in your way but you'll see here like yeah i'm getting nothing out of this so either we've got more traces that are bad and i just haven't seen them yet 
See, now it is getting warm. Like it, it is, it is trying to do something, but what I don't know, and I don't see any other damage anywhere. And I believe that even if the cart connector was bad, like you'd still get the Sega CD load up. So there is still something funky happening here, and I don't exactly know what. Again, I, maybe this will just have to be a parts machine. I, I kind of don't want that to be. We, me and the customer did kind of know, like, hey, listen, there could be some chance that, you know, one or two of these may be parts bound ridden, but I don't want that. I really, really, really do not want that. I want to get this one at least somewhat up and running. Although this one could save, you know, the other three, which is okay, but these are Sega CDXs. I don't want that to happen. I can tell that's getting warm. I can absolutely tell that is getting warm. The other chips, maybe not so much. Yeah, not so much. But let me go through this one more time, and let me just see if I find anything. Okay, I think we still might have a slight issue here with this fourth via here. Let me see if I can get you in here. I know it looks like shit, but trust me, it's uh, it's not it's not as bad as it actually looks zoomed out. Where the hell am I here? Sorry. So this fourth via right. Let me see if I can hold that in place. Can we focus on that and lock that in, please? See that via right there? I think that's our issue. Let me get. Uh, Something I can point with here. Right here. I know it's uh I know it's difficult to get in here. You have no idea how tight this is. I'm sure there's a joke in there somewhere. Let me get over top of this thing. Right there. That via right there. Might be two of those vias. Might be bad. Can we lock that? Sorry guys, I know this is this is difficult when it's like this. Can I get in any further here? Yep, yeah, that via and that via might be an issue. Those two vias, I think we're I think we've lost the pads on them. I think those two vias right there are what's bad. And I mean really that's not as bad as it looks. That is so thin, it is literally um it's one of those. I don't know if I can find that or not in this. Where's my tweezers here? It's literally that small, those traces. Where are they? Where is that thing at? That. That's how small those traces are. So I know it doesn't look great, right? But actually it is. And there's nothing shorted. It might look like something shorted, but it's not. Trust me, it's not. I've gone through it plenty of times. But that right there, I think those two are what's causing a trip up here. It almost, almost like you can see... the break in it right there the break there and there might be a break there I'm not sure it could be both both those could be bad I don't know how I'm gonna tackle that yet well you're not gonna believe this folks I got it I freaking got it I can't believe it I really can't I thought this thing was getting just to the point of just gonna be toast so let me point you up here. Um, turn that off. Back your way out here. I can't believe it. I really just can't believe it. Uh, power. Got it. Got it. Unbelievable. So, in that sense, that means that Dune will run, I'm guessing. Just a guess, but Dune will run. <laughs> Good enough for me. That doesn't matter. I, I, that, that coming up like that, that'll work for me. Hold on. I don't know if it's just a bum car. Because uh, there is cor there's still corrosion all over the place, but... I would just love to see it just start. I don't know if it will without the top part or not. Oh, yes! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yes! Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, 
I do know that it's I knew I do know that this is obviously salvageable. I don't know how it is, but it is unbelievable. Do we see any issues here? I don't really see any issues. Oh, I'm blown away right now. Okay, give me a second here, folks. Okay, so now that we know that we have a working board, right, now we can work on this part and the power supply. So we already know we have one working power supply out of the other unit, which is fine. That's that's great. Now, what I'm going to deal with here is this crap right in here. I don't know exactly how I'm going to deal with this yet. But you can see the corrosion on that screw, but that's not what scares me. That's what scares me. Is that. Now, I can repair that, obviously, but I'm going to have to take this shielding out here. And I don't exactly know if that screw is going to play nice and come out. We have to get to that. I would rather go through that and make sure that that's okay before doing anything else. Um, I mean, it looks like it's only held in by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, it looks like to me. And then we've got to figure out about this power switch here. That might just, that might just come right out, actually. Um... And make sure we don't have any corrosion back here. If we got it here, I mean, chances are we've got it somewhere else on the board. Um, I thought about putting it back together and doing a test to see if it actually works, but I'd rather wait a second. Okay, I'm actually shocked that that, did, that screw did come out. It didn't fight me too much, but this is what I'm talking about here. I don't know why this camera is so against me today, but... That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's scary. Now, it looks to me like it is literally just isolated in this area, which is okay. I mean, if we got to make a trace from here to here repair, which it looks like we'll have to. If we got to make a trace repair from here to here, that's okay. Uh, these vias, mm, scary. Uh, from here to here, that's probably okay. I mean, it probably looks worse than what it actually is, but it's still a little scary. I'm not exactly sure. Like, yeah, we know for 100, that can't be, that can't still be good. There's no way. There's no way. I may have to look at another board, too, to verify what we got going on here. Uh, that's probably going to need to be replaced. That trace there. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I could, I probably do have some parts. And I don't mean from Sega CDX. I just mean from like other machines and stuff that I could replace these if they're bad. But we're going to have to figure out where that trace goes and this trace, like where this via goes and everything. Because that's, that is trashed. Look at that. Yeah, that's not nice at all. So the first thing I'll do is I will clean all this up and see just how bad it actually is. I don't see anything else anywhere else. And that's just a date stamp or a stamp itself. I don't see any corrosion anywhere else. The batteries, there, that's toast. That's toast, but we can figure that out later. I really don't even care. I mean, nobody's going to be using this as a CD player anyways, a standalone CD player. But yeah, that looks okay. Probably may need a trace repair here. That's no big deal. That's no big deal. I'm not sure what that is. Could be a cap. But like I said, I mean, if we have to, we got to pull other parts from other things. No big deal. But yeah, let's get this cleaned up and see what happens. Huh. Well, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, it's running. I haven't, I haven't cleaned anything up yet. I just wanted to test to see what we were getting at here. And mind you, it's upside down because I'd rather the disc be floating this way than it sitting on the other. I don't know if it's going to load or what, but that is definitely a start. Sorry for the furnace. Give me two seconds here. Let me start that over again so you can see what's going on. So it looks to me, it looks to me like the laser is okay so far. But let me turn that off. All right. Let me turn that back on.
That looks okay to me. That absolutely looks okay to me. So let me get this cleaned up. And I don't know if it's going to load or not. I really don't know. I mean, I, I should try a different disc. I mean, I did scratch the shit of this disc on one of the one, other ones that I didn't realize had a screw sticking up. So I might have ruined the boot sector of the CD, which I hope I didn't. But, I mean, it wouldn't fucking surprise me if it did happen. Let me try a different disc. Okay, hang on here one second. Okay, I put a burned copy of, I believe it's Enter the, not Enter the Dragon, Rise of the Dragon. Let's see what happens here. I can tell that the case is just not sitting right either, so. It could have a lot to do with that as well, so let's just keep that in consideration. There's no shielding on, there's no nothing, so, I mean, there could be interference every, oh, here we go. Come on, just start. That's all I want to see is it start and load up. Uh, there's no... Sp oh, shit. Well, I don't have a... Fuck. <laughs> shit, I didn't see that coming. Uh, so, I'm taking the batteries okay because it says there's no space further. Okay, let me get a controller hooked up here. Give me two seconds. Okay, let's do this again. I got a controller plugged in. Yeah, remember, I'm doing this like wide... O I know you can't tell. Oh, shit. Okay, take two. <laughs> the board wasn't sitting right. I know it's hard to see what I'm doing down here, but this is what matters, right? Right now, anyways. That is definitely because it's not... I, I can tell it's just... Everything's not sitting flush. I wish that furnace would shut up, but... I can tell everything's just not sitting right, so the disc is a little... whoop de dee whoop I think that's a proper term, right? whoop de dee whoop I just want to see if we get anything here. Okay. What do we have in memory here? We got a bunch of... So it's... Oh! I didn't realize they had a... I know you probably can't see it, but they actually have a... What do you call it? Uh, Sega CDX as the memory thing. That's neat. See that up there? That's, neat. That's probably going to fall, so... Like I said, the point of this is just to... Uh, let me back way out here. Stupid. There we go. Sorry about that. So yeah, you can see I got everything just willy nilly just floating here. Uh, I don't. Uh, I don't want to format. I'd like to know what's on it, but uh, can we not just play? We need memory. I mean, it makes sense that you do need memory, but see, the disc sounds better now that I sat the board on it and everything properly. But I do got a feeling that that other one ruined my fucking Final Fight CD. Uh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't think I can play without clearing the memory. It says it's got 29... F I don't understand that. Does this really take up the whole thing? Ah, screw it. Screw it, right? See what happens. This is actually a good game, and I want to get back into it. I played it for a bit and, like, really enjoyed myself. Oh, yes. This is what we're talking about. Yeah, that actually doesn't sound too bad, the disc. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but it doesn't sound too bad. That's when it's, you know, we'll have to do the checking of the audio and make sure we don't have, like, skipping and stuff like that, which I could have just add. I can just add a resistor and a, another lead to one of these here. But everything seems okay there. As a matter of fact, let's do that. So let me uh, turn this off and put you on pause. Let me grab another resistor and another uh, jumper here, and we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, so I just... Uh, jammed left or right. I can't remember what it was, but who cares. Yep, we got audio. Love that. That boots pretty quick, too. Like, I can tell. It doesn't even make it all the way through that. So it looks like I had it in right. No big deal. 
no big deal. I just want to make sure we don't have any skipping when the audio tracks are playing. Like this. This is what I want to make sure. Good stuff. Yep, that's what I want to make sure. Okay. Hey, baby. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Have a nice trip. Okay. That works for me. So, let me just see if we get a little further in a disc here. He should talk. Right? 20 billion people. We have really screwed up this planet. Half of them could use a blaster to shove down the Perfect. Okay, I'll stop it right there. I'm going to get that spot cleaned up, get all those little traces and everything cleaned up just as much as I can, and then uh, we'll do some testing, and then if all is good, we'll put it back together and we'll move on. Okay, so here's where we are now. This power supply here, this is just, it's toast. So much so that even after replacing the fuse, which did blow, then we blew this transistor right here i had to take that out. that went up in a big puff of smoke it's almost the same as that one we'll have to figure out what to do with that but for the video's sake what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this power supply to end the video with get it up and running put it all back together and then for the next one when we move on right i'm just going to use this power supply obviously right i'll take it out of this one just knowing that everything is working on this machine except for the power supply right so the next thing that we're going to get into is this battery bay which i just tore out of here which is fun getting this door off i didn't <laughs> get it off of this here yeah that's not fun but uh i did so what we're gonna you can see how it's just it's falling apart it is just woo. yeah that's fun right so i'm gonna get this all cleaned up right i'm gonna get these wires all soldered back together i'm gonna get this connector all cleaned up I have to remember what orientation. Okay, so red is on the right and negative is on the left. Okay, all right, get that all straightened up. Get these wires all put back together. Clean all this out here, sorry. Clean all this out and then put it back together and then end the video for this because this is getting quite long and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, well, this just gets wilder and wilder. <laughs> so. I noticed on, this is the area that I was cleaning up on the underside there, that there were really bad traces. You can still see one right there. Uh, this button was dead. This is the play button. Yes, this is the play button. And this is the original button that belongs to it right here. Well, you notice it's in my end because it was completely rotted out. Obviously, that's from all the damage that we had here let me flip this around here so we had all kinds of damage on the underside here uh, let me see if i can get you zoomed in there just whoop, 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 whoop. where are we here so i had to make a new button for it i had to patch that trace patch that trace all of those traces they look bad but they are they are still there so that trace right there leads to the top side. Leads to the top side. To that spot. Right there. That trace. I had to make a new button. I literally had to make a new button. So what I did was I found, obviously it's a bigger button. Excuse me, obviously it's a bigger button. But... It had the same spacing uh, footprint as in where the through holes go and it was the same height. The only problem was this actuator was huge. It was massive. So I had to cut it off and sand it all the way down until it reached the height that I needed here. So this part should be done and I'm just going to do a quick little test fit and show you here 
I can't believe I nailed it. I, it was scaring me because there is no replacing that button unless you either find one they have or whatever. So how this goes in is like, I'm just going to do this off camera just real quick here. I'm going to slide. I'm going to slide it all in here. Just give me two seconds. There we go. So that's in. That's sitting right. That's sitting right. That's sitting right. Let me zoom you way out here. And so that's all sitting right. So you'll notice that if I flip it over while holding it together, there's the play button there. And so there's the off. And there's the play button. It is a little more bouncy. or Not bouncy. What's the word I'm looking for here? Um... Clicky, I guess. You can hear the difference in clicking. But, I mean, for not having a proper button and having to make it, I'm okay with that. As long as it works, and it does, I'm okay with that. So we'll move that off to the side. We've got that taken care of. This is the worst one. I think. I hope to God this is the worst one. I hope the other ones aren't as bad. As for... The power pack here, or the battery pack here, I've gone ahead and I've cleaned it all up. I've got that all nice and clean. I've got this all nice and clean. There's no more crap all over it. So now all I got to do is get this all back together. Now this doesn't look too too bad. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. That came out. That came out really good. That came out really, really good. That ate up a lot, a lot of that crap. There's no real damage left in there. So now I can, I've already trimmed them. Now I can tin these and put these back to here and here. Get this throat and battery connector back into the bottom shell and get it all back together. And again... We're going to use this power supply just to show it working. And then I'm going to take this power supply back out and use it on the next one. So when I put the this one all back together, um, I'll just make a note that we need to get the other power supply, this one here, fixed, right? Which is no big deal. We can move on from there. And you can see, you can see just how bad it was. This the damage on this is was just unbelievable. The the alkaline damage right so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to get it all back together we're going to do a test and then we'll move on okay so pretty much all back together now this is one that we had to drill the screw out right and the other one was actually missing the back screw because whoever was into these just didn't do a great job and you gotta remember this one was also missing one of the screws that holds it down so the only thing left on this is the shielding the back shielding and I've gotten rid of a lot of the corrosion on it. Some I can't get rid of, but we got to make sure everything's nice and clean on this. And then the bottom part of this will get cleaned as well because we can't have any of that, right? But that's all that's left on this one. So let's just do a quick, another quick test here. Make sure we got everything a-okay. Let me zoom you out here. I just want to make sure before I go ahead and put this together and finish the video that, uh, you know, we're all good here. Um, what am I missing? I am missing controller, uh, which I should have somewhere right here. So let's get a controller in here. I'm going to be a little careful because I don't have that completely locked down because the screws that go through the bottom are what hold this board together. And there's two tiny ones that hold this together, which they will need to be uh, tidied up a bit because they were so corroded from the bad power supply. But uh, let's just give it a go, make sure that we do have good power and everything's... That's what we want to see. That's exactly what we want to see. We do want to see no disc because we want to make sure that, you know, it does recognize the door lids closed and everything. So let me get a disc. Give me two seconds. Okay, we're just going to use a backup copy of 
Um, Rise of the Dragon again. So let me get this flipped over a little bit. Let me get a let me get a disc in it. Don't worry about that. That's just ground. Let's get a disc in it here. Make sure it's clean. Okay. Let's get that flipped back over. Let's get our ground in here. Let's make sure. You remember, this will be pressed down as well, right? So let's make sure we're okay. Again, it shouldn't be. It shouldn't even be playing upside down. So that tells me that it's it's really okay to go here. I don't have any left audio, so it might sound odd, but. Oh, yeah, it sounds good, though. I can hear it. Yep, I just want to make sure that we do have, uh, what do you call it? Uh, no skipping and stuff in the audio. Hey, baby. There you go, baby. There you go, baby. Okay, that sounds good. Have a nice okay, good stuff. Okay, good stuff. Let me stop this right here. Let me stop that right there. Now I'm going to get that uh, bottom shielding cleaned up more, the bottom plate, and then get this, these two soldered to the shielding, and then the shielding soldered here, and uh, that should be it. And we'll move on to the next one. I probably said that about seven times now. Okay, that actually didn't turn out too bad. That actually didn't turn out too bad. Now it's stained and all, but that is nice. There's nothing, nothing flaking off. You know, everything's nice and flat. There's no crap anywhere, like literally anywhere. There's nothing. It's all flat. That's just all stained, right? But it is nice and flat. So we got that back on. Let me, uh, let me get you set up here. Just zoomed out. And I'm not going to screw this in because we still need to pull this power supply for the next one we do. So we're just going to go ahead and get this on here. Like it's supposed to be, which is like what? Yeah, it's a little, uh, little cockeyed there, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. I wonder what that is. Is that the power supply? Yeah, it's probably the, it's probably the battery wires that are stopping that from going in. Give me two seconds here. Or I'm just stupid and the back goes first. It goes in like this and then it's nice and flush. So let's turn that over. We should have a disc in it already. We do. Uh, door cover's fine. Button. There's the one I repaired. That's, that's beautiful. Like I said, it's a little more clicky, but hey. Psh, that's beautiful. So let's go ahead. Let's get a, let's get a controller in. Is that one or two? This is one, sorry. I'm so used to having it upside down testing. So let's go ahead and add... Uh, where are we here? Where's audio? Let's go ahead and add... Oh, shit. We're on this side, aren't we? I forgot all about that. No big deal. No big deal. I can't wait to get this all cleaned up for the next one. <laughs> Just to be dirty again. Okay, that's off. That's power. That is video. Audio, because we don't care what uh, left or right. We don't give a shit. And ground. We'll just shove ground in there somewhere. And we'll fire it up. And let me, I'm sorry, let me get you. Let me just set up like that. Fire it up. I like that. 
that works for me. Okay, so again, I know you can hear audio, but it's better just to go in and test. Okay, that does sound a little rough, but I think that's just because it's not. I was just checking the uh, the display, and it does say game. There you go, baby. Okay. Yep, and it's quiet. How do we go back? Okay, I just want to. I just want to hear it say something. I just want to see it access and save something. There we go. Twenty billion people. We have really screwed up this planet. Half of them could use a blaster shoved down their throat. Perfect. I am absolutely perfect with that. Uh, you know what? Let me do one more game. Let me do um, uh, NHL 94. Just so I can do the audio part and scroll all the way to the end of the track list to see, excuse me, to see if we have, uh, everything's okay there. So let me grab that real quick. As soon as I can hit pause here. Okay. NHL 94 acquired. I probably should clean the laser too. It's probably never been forever since it's been cleaned. Uh, I don't want to close the door. I want to get into. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that. Wait a minute. How does it work on this machine? I just want into the menu. I know there's no disc. Why can't we get into me? It's I'm doing something wrong here, obviously. How do I get into the menu? Uh, that's odd. Well, now I'm real confused here. How does that work? Hang on here. Okay, so that's something I didn't know. I don't know if that's a revision change or if I'm just losing my mind, but you actually have to have a disc in to get into the menu. That, mind-blowing. All right, so we're gonna do a quick scroll through here just real quick before we end this video. This might be a two times drive. 79 tracks. That might not be a track. Well, it is, but... Perfect. Yeah, I don't think 79 is anything. I think it's just... Yeah. Beautiful. Perfect. I might get in trouble playing that. So anyways, okay. So we'll just go to CD-ROM here just real quick before we end it. I know this video is out of control long, but so are the other ones. I know they're going to be. And I got some, a Model 2 to do. I got four Model 1s to do besides four of these. So there's going to be some Sega stuff coming up here. EA Sports. It's in the game. I am happy with this. Lovely. Okay. I might get in trouble for playing that too. Not <laughs> sure. Okay. You guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.